Hello friends, in this video we will synthesize 3 nitroaniline from 1,3-dinitrobenzene. Three nitroaniline is an aniline compound carrying a nitro functional group at the meta position, hence called meta nitroaniline. I will be converting this to meta nitrophenol in one of my upcoming videos. Materials required for this preparation include 18 grams of sodium sulfide, 120 milliliters of methanol, 6 grams of sodium hydrogen carbonate, and 6.7 grams of 1,3-dinitrobenzene or meta-dinitrobenzene. The first step is to prepare the reducing agent sodium hydrogen sulfide. For that we need 18 grams of sodium sulfide and 6 grams of sodium hydrogen carbonate or sodium bicarbonate. First of all, add 50 milliliters of distilled water to the sodium sulfide. It was stirred vigorously in order to dissolve the sodium sulfide completely in water. When we get a clear dark solution after the dissolution, add 6 grams of finely powdered sodium hydrogen carbonate in small portions with constant stirring. Allow the bicarbonate to dissolve completely. After that, we place the beaker in an ice bath to bring down the temperature to below 20 degrees Celsius. This is essential as we are going to use methanol in the next step, which is pretty volatile alcohol. I have set the temperature to below 5 degrees Celsius. Now I add 50 milliliters of methanol. Stirring should be continued. Addition of methanol would help us precipitate out the sodium carbonate. Let me just explain what happened until now. When sodium sulfide and sodium hydrogen carbonate combines together, it forms sodium hydrogen sulfide and sodium carbonate. It is a kind of double displacement reaction, but the sodium carbonate will remain in solution along with sodium hydrogen sulfide. When we add the organic solvent methanol, sodium carbonate becomes less soluble and separates out as the precipitate. This can be filtered off and we will be left with relatively pure sodium hydrogen sulfide solution. After allowing it to sit for some time, we can see the white precipitate of sodium carbonate settling down in the bottom of the beaker. Now we have to filter this solution in order to get rid of the sodium carbonate. A vacuum filtration will be much easier in this case as the particle size is very fine and it will easily clog the pores of the filter paper. Once the filtration is done, we are left with the sodium hydrogen sulfide solution in the filtrate, which is our reducing agent. This is going to selectively reduce the nitro group at the meta position. Ok, start by taking a 250 ml round bottom flask and attach on a clamp on a hot plate. A heating mantle coil is provided to give uniform heat. 6.7 grams of 1,3-dinitrobenzene is added to the flask and on top of that we add 50 ml of methyl alcohol and stir to dissolve it completely. Heating is also started to dissolve the compound. Once the compound dissolves in alcohol, a reflex condenser is attached on top of the flask and the contents are set to a gentle reflex. Now we add the previously prepared methanolic solution of sodium hydrogen sulfide to it. Immediately upon addition, we observe a color change. What is happening here is the selective reduction of 1,3-dinitrobenzene at the third position and it forms 3-nitroaniline. Once that is done, I set up a simple distillation and distill off most of the methanol from the solution. 
I collected around 110 milliliters of methanol. Once we finish the distillation of the alcohol, the rest of the reaction mixture is poured into around 200 milliliters of ice cold distilled water. Immediately you can see the precipitation taking place and this is the crude metanitroaniline separating out. The metanitroaniline is then separated by simple gravity filtration method. You can use a vacuum filtration if you have one. After filtration, the filtrate is washed a couple of times with cold distilled water to remove the impurities. The crystals were then recrystallized by using 75% hot aqueous methanol. The final yield that I got was around 3.5 grams and this will be used in my future video to make metanitrophenol. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you would have liked my video. Do subscribe to the channel if you loved the contents of this video. You can also join my discord server. I will put a link to that in the description. Thank you.